Welcome back to step four and my final resin coat on this resin seascape. So my camera wasn't recording some of my prep work, but what I did was mix um, about four drops of the Adirondac Sailboat Blue Alcohol ink into my clear resin just to give it a really slight tint and then I'm laying that over the entire water part of my seascape. I do this just to create a little more depth and add that next layer of ocean color. And all of the rest of the colors I'll be using are the same from my previous videos, steps two, one, two, and three, and I'll put a link above so that you can go back and watch those if you haven't. Now using my little culinary torch, I'm just popping the bubbles and warming up my resin so I can continue to work with it. I'll link all these supplies down in the description below. Now I'm going in with that cobalt turquoise from Golden like I used in the previous videos and I'm just creating a few more lines and then I'll be blending it with my heat gun. Now I'm going in with my mica blue powder mixed with my resin and I went really light so it's very translucent and I like adding the mica powder pigment in because it gives it a little bit of a pearlescent sheen. When the light hits it you'll kind of get that ocean glimmer look. Pretty cool. And again, I'm blasting this with my heat gun, a little higher setting, a little heavier heat, because I really want that um, pearlescent to spread throughout the resin. And now I've mixed a little bit of that Armor Art Epoxy Pigment Paste White in with my resin. And you can see that I'm just drizzling it in areas over my seascape to create more depth and I want these waves to appear like they're more on top of the water which is why I do this in layers so the other waves look like they're more under the surface and these ones I want to look like they're more on top of the surface and then I go in with my heat gun really gently and it creates lacing and cells and it really looks like that frothy ocean wave look this stuff is amazing. I highly recommend it. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my clear resin and I'm filling in the beach area that I haven't put any resin on. And I do this last because resin flows where resin is. And so if I would have put the clear down on my beach, then my blue and my water would have more easily spread over that surface. And I didn't want that. So I leave that till the end and then I lay down my clear resin and then I add more of my Armor Art White so that I can create another layer of waves washing up on the shore. 
I hope that makes sense, but feel free to comment below and ask me questions if you're confused about that. <laughs> You'll notice I'm going in here with one of my alcohol wipes to clean up where some resin spilled because again I don't want it over that part of the beach and if it's there well it'll cure there or my other resin will spread to where that is. So always have your alcohol wipes on hand for cleaning your hands, tools, board, and everything in between. Those are my number one tool in the studio. I'm just mixing up a little bit more of our white from Armor Art and I always reserve some clear resin to do things just like this to put clear coat down on my beach if I want to mix in some more colors um, then you always have a little bit on reserve to do that so that's a good tip for you So I'm hitting this with the torch because the heat gun would blow too much and I don't really want that at this point, but that heat when it hits the um, white epoxy pigment, it really sells up and laces up nicely and creates that foamy beach look. Now with my heat gun on low and my temperature turned down a bit, I'm going in and I'm just manipulating these waves to make them look more organic, create more of that cell and lacing look, and blend them in to the others. And then again with my torch, because the heat's a little more intense and I can really direct it, I'll go in and I'm kind of popping it in and out of the spots that I want the waves to spread out a little more and create more of that lacing, foamy look. Can you tell that making waves is my absolute favorite part of creating a seascape? It's just so much fun and I hope you guys have a chance to do a seascape 
and create your own waves because it is like the finishing most satisfying touch on my seascapes i absolutely love it so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of my video it is about done and if you like what I'm doing and you enjoy these videos, it really helps me out a lot if you hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified when I launch a new video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this four step process. I really wanted to break it down this time and show you the steps I go through to create a seascape. And a lot of times I'll do like five or six layers of resin. So this one wasn't too complex, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like and leave me a comment and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day and happy creating!